Today we're checking out Plague Inc. This is a game I've heard a lot about and been wanting to play for a long time and my friend Shadow Gardevoir just recently gifted me the game so thank you so much Shadow. This one's for you. In this game you create a virus or some sort of plague and your goal is to kind of evolve that virus and wipe out humanity as we know it. This game has been out for a lot of years already but it just recently exploded in popularity in lieu of, you know, the, the real world uh, pandemic we're going through right now. So, what a timely game. Uh, it's a little bit morbid, but we're going to check this out. It's going to be a, a good time, I think. Can you infect the world? I think we can. So you have all these different types of plagues. Uh, of course, most of them are locked. We're going to start with the basic bacteria. The most common cause of plague. Unlimited potential. Yeah. We're going to play on normal mode. One thing I will say, you, you might think this this is in poor taste. Actually, this game has been praised by the CDC. And the, the people who own the game actually have been donating a lot of proceeds to fight COVID-19. And um, yeah, they're coming out with a new game mode real soon where you actually are on the human side and you're trying to fight the virus. So they're, they're taking into account all these real world current events and they're trying to do a lot of good about it. And I, I think that's really awesome. Here we go. Name your plague. Death. There we go. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Let's go. Select start location. I think we're just going to go home here. We're going to start it off. We're going to start close to home. USA. Death has infected its first human. Weak and unspecialized. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Okay. One person infected. Speed things up a little bit. Pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. Still only one person infected. Why? Come on now. Are these... Okay, here we go. I have DNA points. No? Transmission. Um, how do I want this to be transmitted? We have nine DNA points. Okay, so we can spread it through the air, through the water, through livestock, through blood, through insects. I'm thinking let's go through the air. Alright, we have two, two people infected. Come on. I want to see this thing spread. Pop that bubble. Still only two infected. Can I do anything else here? You can level this up for five DNA points. So what about symptoms? I, I'm not seeing any symptoms. What are, what are these abilities? Bacterial resilience, drug and weather resistance. Um, I want some symptoms. Chance of infection by spreading pathogen into surroundings with cough. Yeah, definitely. We want that. We want the cough. Boom. I thought this would spread a little bit faster. It's okay. We're just learning the ropes here. What else can we do here? Skin becomes blistered. Um, that that can all wait a little bit. We need more transmission. Uh, we can't yet though. It greatly increases infection rates. Oh, still only two people infected. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Yeah, we need this thing to move along. Three people infected. Okay. Pop that bubble. We have six points. Can we get anything else here? This one, painful lumps. Ooh, slight chance of bursting, which can spread disease. Yeah. Anything that can help spread this thing because we only have three people infected after all this time. That's ridiculous. We're up to nine points, 10 points. What else can we do here? We, we need more transmission. How about the water? All right, now we can spread it via the water too. That's cool. We got four people infected, seven people infected. Getting some more points. What else can we do? Livestock. Okay. Livestock can get it. Sure. Why not? We want everybody to get it. So medicine in USA is slowing infection. No. USA is a wealthy country with high quality health care. To spread faster, you may need to evolve the drug resilience ability. Got it. Child tells president that injecting disinfectant is not good. Death has mutated and developed a fever, fever symptom without using DNA points. Nice. All right, we need to develop some uh, drug immunity. Nintendo to pixelate Toad in future. It's <laughs> hilarious. The music is so intense, so suspenseful. Ooh, over 100 infected now, yeah. At the same time, I don't want to draw too much attention until I can really um, develop this thing better. Here we go. Resistant to class one and two antibiotics, increase effectiveness in wealthy 
countries. That's what I'm talking about, man. Death has mutated and developed the skin lesion symptom without using DNA points. Yes. And we're over 200 people now that resistance to antibiotics, that's really going to help a lot. Death has infected hundreds in USA, increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease. Don't mind if I do. Oh, over a thousand infections. It's climbing now. Oh, 3,000. Oh man, this thing's growing. Death has infected thousands in USA. People are being infected faster and faster. 10,000. 12, 14, dude, we're getting, we're getting more and more thousands every second. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the Rio Olympics. Organizers promise it will happen soon, but no reason has been given for the change. Five deaths, 20,000 plus. Mexico has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA. Oh, dang, this is exciting. 30k. Oh, it's it's growing exponentially now. Oh, snap, it's going up. It's in Africa now. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Okay. What else? We want um we want heat resistance. Let's just get this this one here, kind of a general little bit of uh all weather resistance. Definitely going to need heat resistance though cuz Africa is hot. Egypt, man. Egypt's not doing so well. States are not doing so well. My disease, on the other hand, is doing pretty well. Ooh, it's up in Canada. Five million infected throughout the world. Crazy. We got 14 points. Death has infected more people in the world than TB. It is a very infectious disease. That's right, man. It's the disease to end all diseases, to end all humanity. So I can go ahead and uh, spread through rodents now. We're going to spread it through every possible way oh 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 it's popping up all over the place mr worldwide i should call the plague mr worldwide uh total only one percent of the world has been infected we're gonna keep on going oh yeah oh everybody's getting it everybody's getting it death has infected more people in the world than hiv it is an extremely infectious disease that's right people are getting it from all sorts of different ways they don't even know now they're getting it from birds. Next is going to be insects and blood. It's going to be coming at you from every which way. In a normal checkup, a doctor in USA found a new disease which has been named death. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. Huh, mostly harmless? Almost 40,000 people are dead. First death from death has been confirmed in Egypt. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible? Oh, you have no idea. You thought Thanos was a bad guy. You thought Billy Eilish was the bad guy. Nah, nah, nah. I'm the bad guy. USA is first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure for death. Without greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. That's right, man. This is unfortunately very timely and very scary, but the game itself is actually very satisfying. Strangely, very, very satisfying. Oh my gosh, it's popping up everywhere. Oh, look at those bubbles just popping up. Oh my gosh, I have so many DNA points I need to pause it. Death has mutated and developed the immune suppression symptom without using DNA points. I need to pause this. I need to level up my thing here. Hold on. I haven't added this one yet. Make it a bloodborne disease also. Symptoms. Let's let's get some more symptoms up in here. Oh, yeah, I didn't get this one. You can get infection through kissing. Yeah, I'll take that. Evolve that one too. Oh, releases more pathogen into the air. Pneumonia. Oh. Kill off people in cold climates. Okay, I'm, I'm, I've spent my points. Let's just see how bad this thing gets now. Now that I've just leveled it up so many times. The more scary D-E-A-T-H becomes by hurting and killing people, the harder humans will try to cure it. Remember this when evolving your disease. Yeah, that's why I need to make people less productive and all that, huh? I need to really try and start killing off everybody. USA has become the first country to try to limit the spread of death by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if this will work. Two, three, five, look at all those deaths now. It has infected more people in the world than the common cold. It is the ultimate infectious disease. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's spreading, spreading, spreading. I need to pause. We got a lot of DNA points to spend right about now. 
make people less productive, irrational delusions and mental symptoms, victims distrust others and will make them unlikely to seek treatment or cooperate from, with others, body-wide organ failure and rapid death. Oh, I need a few more points for that one. Let's level up with the transmission while I'm here. Oh, I'm about to kill off all of Russia. The Olympics will begin soon despite death. Will people bring the disease to Brazil? You gotta be kidding me. This is absolutely insane. 40 million plus people already dead. Death has been placed on the WHO watch list. Already dangerous governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. Yeah, I think it is gonna become unstoppable. And I'm gonna get this uh, this one right here. Rapid death. Where Where do I really need to hit I need to hit Greenland, Sweden, and Morocco. What's Greenland about? It's cold, obviously. People in cold climates, especially vulnerable to pneumonia. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. New statistics show that death has killed over 75 million people worldwide, worse than the Black Death. My gosh, what have I done? Death has mutated and developed a necrosis symptom without using DNA points, yes. New statistics show that death has killed over 120 million people worldwide, worse than Spanish flu. Yeah, this is this is absolutely nuts. There are two ways to fight development of the cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries, more noticeable, or evolve cure resistance, less noticeable. I think we want to go less noticeable. Oh, I've been neglecting these abilities. Okay. Pathogen becomes harder to analyze in the lab. Pathogen develops resistance to class 3 and 4 antibiotics. Increase effectiveness in wealthy countries. Oh, and then cold temperatures. We'll go ahead and get that one. Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot about the abilities. Shoot. Okay, let's keep going. Japan has started to send research teams to infected countries, hoping to speed up development of a cure. Pop blue bubbles to destroy their research. New statistics show that death is the deadliest plague ever. It has killed over 300 million people worldwide, worse than smallpox. Blue cure bubbles. Yeah, no. Japan, you're not, you're not going to get away with nothing. I'm sorry, this plague is the end all for humanity. Colombia begins to break down. Normal life in Colombia is beginning to break down to, due to death. Cure research is starting to slow. Oh, they're slowing down cure research. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's evolve this thing. Abilities, it needs some heat resistance because it just doesn't have any right now. More work needed to develop a cure? Yes, I think so. I don't want them developing no cures. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for death. Good luck, man. Let's see who who beats the other one to it. Death has mutated and developed the hemophilia symptom without using DNA points. Polymorphic hemophilia is fine. You know what? It's going to be even harder to develop a cure. Boom. Make it even more resilient. Let's go. No, man. Get out of here, Japan. East Africa is first to fall into anarchy due to death. No cure research can take place. Okay, no more research. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the population is all dying. They're all dying. Oh my gosh. Death has had its genome fully sequenced by scientists. Who researchers say that this breakthrough will help cure efforts? No, 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 no. I don't think so. I do not think so. Hold on. Hold the phone. Multiple strains now exist, increasing the work needed to develop a cure. That's right, man. Can I do some more uh, aggressive symptoms too? Inflammation, swelling, can obstruct breathing and be fatal, sure. We pretty much just have Greenland and they're, they're going down now. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of death. Oh, this is so nasty. Cold, we need even more cold resistance. We're taking down Greenland. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the world. There's nothing they can do now, look at that. There are no healthy people left in the world. The last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with death. There are no healthy people left. Are, are we just gonna let them die out? Just watch the numbers, just go? There's nothing they can do now, right? Death has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans lie dying in holes with no chance to survive. Oh man, I... I feel so, so conflicted here with my emotions. I feel like such a bad person right now. But this is the game. It's a strategy game. It feels good to win the strategy game. There it is. 100 people, 79 people left in the world 
40, 30 people left in the world. That's it. That's all she wrote, man. Rip world victory. Death has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. All life on Earth. Jeez. So it took like two years. Total score. I don't know if that's a good. Uh, I don't know if that's a good score or not. But we did it. We wiped out the world first try. I gotta say this game is really fun and I don't know why it's so morbid and it makes me feel awful but I had so much fun with it at the same time and I'm definitely looking forward to trying out the other viruses Ooh, new see new plague and gene discovered yeah you unlock different ones and you're gonna want to play through over and over again you can play either co-op or competitive multiplayer with a friend you can build your own custom scenarios there's so much stuff in this game it's so cool yeah and they're coming out with that free expansion soon where you get to be the good guy and you get to fight the virus yeah definitely check out this game guys i highly recommend it like i say they're they're doing a lot of like giving they're giving a lot of proceeds to you know researching a cure for covid 19 and they're they're doing a lot of good stuff and uh yeah it's it's fun to be the bad guy it it really is fun to be the bad guy for a little bit um you can get this game on steam you can get it for mobile definitely check it out i hope you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed making this one shadow thank you again for the gift i owe you yeah plague inc Check it out, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. If you enjoyed it, hope you'll give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Take care. Be safe. Stay well.